Uh, these people are the evil that they uh, just despise. The evil that they are and the evil that they implore is the evil that they are. And I want y'all to understand this, especially the liberals. See, y'all, I take flat about my opinion because it's rather strong on how I feel about liberals. Because I think that they are much more, they think, I think they have much more of a problem than people think. Okay? That liberal ideology that basically is just, um, <laughs> arrogance, pompousness just put through a blender. That's all. Now you, we are getting an example of the great bloodshed that's spoke about in the holy books. I believe it's the Quran or what? the great bloodshed. All these bombings and they've turned that country into the Stone Age, and I'm bombed it to the Stone Age. They want to run them out of there, even though they can't leave the Palestinians I'm talking about. And they want to blow up Gaza Strip. Okay. And they want to say all this is because of what Hamas did. Well, what about all the killings that have been going on on the West Bank before Hamas did that? What about all, all that killing? See, these Europeans are so evil and diabolical that I'm no longer shocked or and I'm no longer ashamed to say that Elijah Muhammad was one of the greatest teachers that we had in terms of who we are dealing with. Even white people know how evil they are. What's the uh, old girl name? Kathy Griffin, she said, I had no idea my people was this evil. Okay, until she did that picture of Donald Trump. Then they brought the wrath down on her. Most white people know how evil they are, but they never see the stench until it's turned on themselves. But one thing about the great, great blood shedder, he never th he's forever thirsty. Anybody, any sane and rational human being in Congress or out of Congress should be appalled by all the killing that's going on. And blaming Hamas, let them take full responsibility is what I'm, let me say that. But to blame the whole Palestinians and bomb them because Hamas, well, ain't nobody bombing America because of the Proud Boys. Because of what's those other uh, terrorist groups they got over here? Those domestic white terrorists? What about them? And y'all are so vengeful. That damn Marjorie Taylor uh, Green, for her, they have the nerve to call Rashida Tlaib an insurrection, the nerve. Because if I was to ask you, who's penalized you, Europeans, for all the bloodshed that you've done all over the planet? And, and let me narrow it down. Who can come back and get revenge from you from slavery. Huh? Every time somebody re uh, rebuttals, every time somebody tries to explain or even have give you a definition of what it feels like to be a, a group that is oppressed, then you want to call out your dogs. You want to call out all your military might and all of this because you're afraid of the truth when the truth hits you. But you don't mind going and bombing somebody else up and saying all manners of evil against them. But if somebody was to do to you, 
for all the evil that you and your people have done on the planet, where would we be? I know one thing, y'all all would be dead if that's the case. I'm not saying, all I'm saying is, you don't have no compassion for these kids that's being killed. Then something is wrong with you. On either side, it doesn't really matter to me. I love humanity. I love humanity. And if people were being treated correctly and their needs were being met, it wouldn't be no need for these groups like Hamas or the Panthers or whoever else. I'm not going to, somebody say, well, then the Proud Boys should fit up under the same. Why? Because they are in control. They're just in a delusional state because their history dictates that they have been in control and they have been minimizing other communities and marginalizing them um, since the beginning of time. So when people want to push back against that, they're the ones who's retaliated against. Anytime somebody pushes back against oppression, racism, then they become anti-Semitic, anti-Israel, whatever. I love humanity. I love humanity. All of humanity, even the Palestinian. That's humanity. Even the Israelis. That's part of humanity. Even the Iraqis. They're part of humanity. Just like the black and brown people. That's still the human family. Y'all have lost your mind. For those of y'all who want to keep killing alive and don't want to cease fire, may the same evilness that you pray affects you and your family. That's all I can pray. With that being said, like, share, and subscribe to the vlog. Let me hear your comment. I'm, I'd love to hear from you. I'll see you in the next one.